Hey guys, what's going on? I'm back here with another video. And this video is a little bit different than my normal videos. Uh, yeah, so today I'm doing a coaster battle. Uh, you might be wondering, you know, what is a coaster battle? Well, in a coaster battle, I can bear two roller coasters in certain categories and see how they can bear against one another. So today's coaster battle is between El Toro at Six Flags Great Adventure and The Voyage at Holiday World. Just so you know, the first few rounds will be mostly stat based. So anyway, without further ado, let's get into the coaster battle. The first category in this coaster battle will be height. El Toro is 181 feet tall and Voyage is 159 feet tall. So naturally, I'm giving the point to El Toro for being taller. The score is 1 to 0, El Toro. The next category is the drop. This category compares how tall each drop is and how good they are. Voyage's drop is 154 feet tall, and El Toro's drop is 176 feet tall. So once again, I'm giving the points El Toro for being taller. 2-0, to zero, El Toro. The third category is speed. El Toro clocks in at a max speed of 70 miles per hour, and Voyage's max speed is 67 miles per hour. So once again, because of stats, El Toro takes the point. 3-0. The next category is duration. The voyage has a track length of 6,442 feet and a duration of 2 minutes and 45 seconds. El Toro has a track length of 4,400 feet and a total duration of 1 minute and 42 seconds. Since voyage is a longer ride, the point goes to voyage. 3 to 1. These next few categories are more opinion based instead of stat based. The next category is airtime. I like Voyage's big floater hills and small ejector towards the end, but it's nothing to write home for. As for El Toro, it has massive flow ejector hills and even some ejector towards the end. I also like Voyage, but I'm going to go ahead and give the point to Voyage because I like its airtime a little bit more. 3-2 to two, El Toro. The next category is smoothness. Both these coasters are very smooth for wooden roller coasters. El Toro is an Intamin prefab so it is naturally more smoother than an average wooden roller coaster. Voyage is smooth too, but there is some rough places, so I'm giving the point to El Toro. The last category is intensity. While Voyage is very intense, especially as a night ride, that night ride on Voyage is probably one of the best night rides in any roller coaster period. However, nothing beats that first drop of El Toro. You get flung over that 176 foot tall, 76 degree drop because of the high speed cable lift hill and the turnaround. And El Toro gets another point. I've totaled all the points, and winning the coaster battle only by three points is El Toro at Six Flags Great Adventure. El Toro is one of the best wooden roller coasters in the world, and it competes with steel roller coasters too. Congratulations, El Toro, you defeated the voyage. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like and subscribe for more content. See ya.